Hello and welcome to the Faded Wildflower Crochet. My name is Rachel and I thought I would try out filming a like week in my life as a crochet business owner style of video. A little bit more casual than my other content, but I really enjoyed filming this video where I talked about my experience so far of starting a YouTube channel at my age and I think a lot of you guys related to it and enjoyed that style of content. So we'll see. You'll have to let me know if you like this sort of casual vlog style content. But I thought I would just take you along with me, show you what I'm making, show you my goals for the week and that kind of thing. So if you want to see that, then stick around. So I thought I would start by showing you what I made over the weekend. But one thing I already have packaged and it's on its way. Uh, which is this goat plushie. I was starting on this goat plushie in this video, the one I just talked about, but I finished it and it is already on its way to my customer. I sent them photos and they liked it and I don't have it physically to show you, which I wish I would have waited to package it up, but alas. Um, so I made that over the weekend and then I also made all of these squid plushies. Well, I'd already made... Oh my gosh, if I get them down, they're gonna fall. Don't fall. Oh, they didn't fall. So I started with this one that I made last week. And I put a short up of it if you haven't seen that already. But I made this one mostly just because I wanted to try out these glitter safety eyes because I think they're so cute. And once I made one, I just had to make a whole squad. It's it's the squid squad. <laughs> it's what me and my kids have named it. But I made all five of these ones on Saturday night. That was my that was my Saturday night entertainment was making squid. But I made them each. I'll, I'll put up a close up. But I made each of them so that it would match one of the other colors of safety eyes. Like I have six colors of the safety eyes, and each one kind of cor does that make sense? They don't like match each other exactly. But I thought it was really cute and really fun to do. And I want to. I already have my normal size squid pattern out, but I kind of want to make a whole like bundle of the small size, the regular size, and then this large size over here. So that's something I think I'm going to be working on in the future, but probably not this week. So I thought I would talk about um, my goals for the week. I am going to be filming this video, obviously. I'm also in the process of filming my rainbow yarn video where I'm going to be making a bunch of rainbow squids. So I'm in the process of filming that one. So then I also maybe if I am feeling brave and if I have the time, I am going to try filming a video where I go out in public and crochet in public for a day. I think it will be a really fun video. But as I have talked about before, I'm a socially anxious person. And so it's a little bit intimidating and a little bit like, what am I getting myself into? But it's something, again, that I really want to push myself to do things that I don't normally do. So I may end up filming that one as well. So that is another goal. And then the other YouTube related thing that I want to do is that I'm in the process of making a another kit <laughs> um, and this time it's a tapestry crochet kit and I've already started on it but I kind of abandoned it and it's sitting in the corner of my room right now and I really want to get back to that or at least at least do like a little check-in for that it won't get posted this week but at least do like a little check-in for that video so those are my YouTube goals the goals for my shop are that I have four keychains to make which that's another thing I did over the weekend was make a bunch of pieces for the keychains but I haven't put them together yet so I have four keychains for these are all custom orders so four keychains and then I have a large dog and a large cat so that is what I have to finish for my Etsy shop this week so YouTube Etsy and then I have the goal to finish writing out my rat pattern hold on let me go get my rat here's a little rat isn't it cute i have all the photos taken and the pattern notes made but i want to actually get it like all written up in my pdf and publish this pattern this week so 
I think that's my only pattern goal. Like I said, I am working on getting the mini squid and the large squid done, but I, that, that can wait. But this I want to get done this week. And I also have, let me go get this other thing. <laughs> so I have this little cutie that I created. I, I think I'm going to end up putting a pattern. I, I don't know. We'll see. You, you guys will have to let me know what you think about him. I want to make an entire line of crochet pet patterns since that is something that I already am pretty familiar with. But I can't decide if I want to make them in the velvet yarn or if I want to just make them in worsted weight yarn. You guys will have to let me know. Do you prefer doing your patterns in a more like a velvet yarn or would you rather do them in worsted weight yarn or like do you care what type of yarn the person is using in their pattern because for amigurumi it doesn't really matter but I don't know so I can't decide I think I may just go ahead and publish this one as just kind of like a general dog pattern then I think for my line of dogs that and maybe cats too eventually but before my line of dogs that I think I might just do them in worsted weight yarn, mostly because I think there's just more color options and some of the techniques could be a little bit easier to do in worsted weight yarn. So I think I'm talking myself into it as I'm talking, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. So I am going to get started on crocheting some squids and some rainbow yarn. I'm really excited about it. I've had this rainbow yarn in my stash now for a while and this idea for this video. So I'm excited to get started on that. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am in the middle of filming this rainbow video and I'm about to go eat some lunch, but I thought I would check in with you guys for a bit. I, this is the big twist yarn that I am making this squid, which I'm sure you've already seen. That video has probably already come out by the time this video is coming out. But uh, I have like mixed feelings about the yarn so far. We'll see how it turns out. But anyways, I thought I would just talk a little bit about how funny it is that I... So Okay, so I filmed my favorites video. And it was the first video that I filmed where I was directly asked by someone, hey, can you film a video where it's like all of your favorites in one place so I can reference that? And I'm like, sure, absolutely. I had actually a couple different people ask me to film a video similar to that. So I thought, awesome. I actually love watching favorites videos. So let me film this favorites video. And I won't say that it's like the hardest thing in the world to film by any means. But, you know, I had to film it. And then I had to like take all the screenshots and all of the, you know, close up images and all of the you know, I had to link all the products. Like these things just take time, right? And then my audio got messed up for some reason. My audio was really bad on that video. So I had to like run my audio through an audio editor and it was like a whole thing. So I did put like some decent effort into that video and then it did really bad at first. <laughs> and I made that Instagram reel where I showed that I got like 30 views after 24 hours, which is like my worst performing video in that like time frame. And so then I filmed that other video where I was kind of talking about my vulnerabilities of like, I was just being very vulnerable in that video of like, I'm putting in all of this effort and I don't always see the results. And then after I filmed that one and posted it, then my favorites video started doing pretty well. And as of right now, it has like, I think almost 2000 views which is the best on my channel so far. And it got me a lot of new subscribers, which if you're here from that video, hi, um, which makes me really happy and excited, but I, I just find it really funny. that I was like complaining about that specific video and how badly it was doing. And then all of a sudden it started doing well. I guess that's just how it goes. I do not understand YouTube. I do not get it. I just feel like I'm gonna keep going and putting out the videos that I want to make and that you guys wanna see and we'll see how it goes. But I just find that actually really hilarious that that video is doing well now after I complain about it. It's actually like kind of embarrassing. I'm like, oh God, <laughs> um, I don't know. But I'm gonna go eat some lunch and then continue to work on this guy, but I will check in with you guys later. 
Okay, I just finished making this guy, which is my favorite of the octopus so far. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. I love the way this yarn worked up and I was so surprised because I never work with striped yarn. But oh my gosh, I might have to do it more often now. I just wish it was a little bit softer. I talked about it a little bit in this video, but I know I've heard of ways that you can make plushies softer after you've already worked them up. I have tried putting things in the dryer before with like uh, not that great of success, but I've heard of people using like a steamer, like steaming it and it, that might kind of help the fibers get a little softer. I don't know. Have you tried that? Let me know. Um, because I think it's, it looks really cute, but I just wish it was softer. So I am going to be done filming for today. I, my day got a little bit derailed because the plumbers had to come. My whole bathroom is getting, having to get redone because there was like some calcium buildup or something. It was a whole, it's, it is a whole thing. So um, my day got a little bit distracted because of that. So I will have to finish filming my squid video tomorrow. But I really want to go sit outside until my daughters get home from school because it's a really nice day and I want to get some fresh air. I will do some more crocheting tonight, but probably not any more filming. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, I just finished filming my squid video. I think that it's gonna turn out pretty well, I hope. I don't know, but I already had my camera set up so I thought I would check in with you guys. The plan for the rest of the day is to make the keychains that I need to make, which I already have this one done. Oh, he's moving around. There we go. <laughs> I already have this one done, which is a little dachshund, and they wanted two, so I have to make one just like this one. I always send the photos. If I have like an order where it's multiples, I send the photo first, make sure they like it, do any changes, and then I'll make the second one. So I have three more keychains to make one that's gonna look just like this one. And then I have two yellow lab keychains to make, which I already have all of the pieces made for. I just have to sew them together. So that's the plan for the rest of today. I'm going to finish up those keychains and then hopefully be able to start on my large size dog. Those just take a while to make. Um, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I finished the second Dachshund keychain. I think they're so cute. I will say that the sewing on something like this takes probably longer than the crocheting. It's kind of wild how long it takes to sew on each individual piece, but that's why I'm so happy to have the customers that I do that really appreciate handmade stuff like this. They know that it takes a lot of time and effort and love and care, so I am going to be happy to send these off to their loving home. And I thought I would also show you this squid that I made in case you didn't watch my squid video. I have all four of them right here. My rainbow squid. <laughs> um, it was a lot of fun working on this project. I really am a little bit disappointed that I didn't find my absolute perfect rainbow yarn, but um, I I'm still on the hunt. So if you have a suggestion for variegated rainbow yarn, put them in the comments below. I want to try out the Karen, what's it called? Karen Blossom Cake, I think that's the name of it. But you can only get it at Michael's and I don't have a Michael's close to me. The closest one is probably like, an hour and a half away so I just don't really make it close to a Michaels that often so I would have to ship it and so I'd have to make sure that I order enough to get for I actually don't even know can you get free shipping there can you like order a certain amount and get free shipping I know most websites are like that I've never ordered for Michaels before but 
Um, I want to try that one, the Blossom Cakes, because I have seen people use those, and I know they come in some, like, nice, like, variegated rainbow shades. I like the Karen, what are they called? The Halo, Karen Halo Cakes. If you know what I'm talking about, I'll probably put a picture on the screen. But I like those. We can get those at Joanne, but... I like those in terms of I like the way they feel when I just touch the skein. I've never tried them. So I think I might do a Will It Ami with that and maybe just get her a little bit creative because the reason I haven't tried those is because they're not variegated. They're like, they're striped, which this was a striped yarn and this one actually ended up being my favorite. Um, but I think the stripes on the Karen, um, what are they called? Halo cakes or whatever they're called. The stripes on those look really large, and I just don't know if I'd be able to. I definitely want to be able to make something this small and have it look cute. So I might get creative and sort of like take each color in my yarn winder and make like individual cakes and do it that way. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. But definitely let me know your favorite colorful like variegated yarn. I also want to start trying out some like hand dyed yarn or some hand spun yarn stuff that you can find on like Etsy. I've never tried that before either. I think this channel is really it's kind of a fun creative outlet for me to be able to try things that I haven't tried before because like I said my main job has been making custom pets and I only really use a certain amount of products for those that I just there's so much about like crocheting that, like crochet products, crochet yarns and all of these things that like I have not really had the chance to try out. Even though I want to, I haven't had the chance to. So um, I think that is kind of the reason why I started, another reason why I started this channel, just to share my love for crochet in general, but also to get a chance to try out all these things and talk about how I feel about them. So it's really fun. Um, and I appreciate getting the chance to do that and for anyone who likes watching that. So, um, anyways, I'm going to finish those two other keychains tonight, probably like after, after my kids go to bed and stuff, I'm going to, what time is it? I'm going to, um, probably start editing for about an hour, um, editing my squid video and then I'm going to go for a walk with Lily. Hopefully, did she hear me? She heard me, but oh yeah, she's looking at me now. <laughs> um, she needs to go for a W-A-L-K. And I didn't get a chance to go on one yesterday because the plumbers came. So we're gonna go for a long one today. <laughs> she says hi. Are you saying hi? You wanna go for a W-A-L-K? I won't say it again. Okay, I better go. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I finished my two yellow lab keychains last night so I'm happy to have those checked off the checklist I already started on this large size dog that I'm working on so that's that that's what I'm gonna be working on today and in between that I'm going to try and have my wrap pattern published I like I said already have the photos taken, the pattern notes written up. I just have to put the PDF together. And for some reason, I always get a mental block <laughs> when it comes to any sort of like tedious work like that. I love the designing. I love the creating. I don't love all the, the like business, <laughs> you know, making the PDFs or like even making Etsy listings. Like, there will be a lot of times that I will have a product made, photos taken, ready to be listed, and I won't list it for like a month. Because for some reason, I just get this like block in my head of like, oh, tedious computer work. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and so I won't. It's a terrible habit. I'm trying to be better about it. I think maybe I need to like reward myself with something. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything. I'm trying to be better about not spending money. But 
like, how can I reward myself for getting this PDF published this week? Do you guys want to know? Do you want to know what the best reward for me would be? Hold on, let me show you. I think the best reward would be to be able to make more squid plushies. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous, but I am like hyper fixated on making squid plushies right now. And I really want to see how the rest of the squid plushies from this yarn would look. So I'm like, okay, maybe if I get this PDF published, I will reward myself by like one evening, taking the evening to make squid plushies. <laughs> that's that's the perfect reward for me I don't know about you guys but I think that's gonna be fun <laughs> that is the ideal Friday Saturday any night for me <laughs> is to make a bunch of squid plushies I mean let's be honest so anyways that is my plan for the rest of today is to work on this dog get my wrap pattern all published at least written up. I want to have it at least written up today and then maybe published tomorrow we'll see so this might be my last talking clip because it ended up being a sort of busy week. I just didn't realize that they were going to be coming to fix my bathroom this week. What ended up happening is that there was a mineral buildup or something behind our, like in our tub. And so when we went to change the, turn the faucet from shower to tub, you know, like the little faucet that changes that over, it snapped and we thought it was going to be just a little easy fix, but it wasn't. They had to come in and tear the tile out, fix the problem back behind there. And then now somebody's going to have to come and fix the tile and then put all of the fixtures and stuff back on. So it ended up being a whole thing. And so people are going to be here for hours tomorrow doing that. So I don't think I'm going to be filming during that and then Thursday afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, my daughter is in the school talent show. So I'm gonna be going to that and grandparents are coming in. So that's really fun and exciting. And then Friday, my husband and I are going to see Wicked. So there's just kind of a lot going on this week that I just didn't really I didn't really foresee. Well, I knew that I was going to Wicked. We've had tickets for that. That was actually my Christmas present. But I didn't really think about the fact that we're going to have to take off early and like get the kids early from school, get them settled with grandparents. And, like, you know, I just, I just don't think I'm going to have that much time to be able to film on Friday. So probably what I'll end up doing is just insert a, a few clips of what I ended up making Thursday and Friday, maybe do a little voiceover, I'm not sure, but this is probably gonna be my last talking clip. I wanted to talk about how wild it is that my favorites video is now at 3,000 views. I am, I'm honestly blown away. I, I know that that doesn't maybe sound like that much, but for a small new channel that is. And so I'm really excited to see people finding my channel because of that. And just really everyone who's coming here is so kind and is supportive and sweet. And I'm just really grateful that people are enjoying my content. It just really makes my day to hear people say like, this was helpful for me or this was fun to watch or whatever it is they say. I am so incredibly grateful for everyone who's here. I just published my squid video this morning, my rainbow squids, and it's already gotten some nice comments if people saying that it's helpful or that it's fun to watch. And so I'm really grateful for that. And I really enjoyed making that video. I thought that was a lot of fun. I really want to make a part two eventually <laughs> i have so many the problem with me is not that i know i've heard some people be like oh i want to start a youtube channel but i just like can't oh i hear you are you talking to are you talking to the people yeah okay um i hear some people say stuff like i want to start a youtube channel but i don't have any ideas or i don't have enough like i, I don't know what to post I have the opposite problem. I'm like, I had none of the confidence, but all of the ideas. And I still, I just, 
if I sat down right now and wrote out all of the ideas I have for this channel, it would be like a mile long. <laughs> I, I really should. I should write, actually write that down. I have been kind of compiling a list, but I've had even more ideas since then. So I just have so many ideas, but not enough time to do all of the things that I want to do. So it's a good problem to have to like feel the creative because I've definitely been in the place before where I want to create, but I have like a creative block. We all have that as artists. So I understand that. But right now the creative juices are flowing, but I just don't have all of the time in the world to be able to do everything that I want to do. So that's, you know, it's just one of those things such as life. So anyways, I am going to eat some lunch, go for a W-A-L-K and then hopefully get my rat pattern done. That's my biggest goals for the day. So I will catch you guys later. already had my outfit picked out to go see Wicked and it was going to be much colder than I expected so I decided to crochet myself a scarf to match my outfit so that's what I'm doing here and I didn't follow a pattern I just alternated one row of double crochet then one row of half double crochet until it was as long as I wanted it to be I am using the yarn just chenille that you can find at the dollar store. I held two strands together and I believe I used about six skeins to create this scarf. Mm -hmm. 